Good afternoon. Um, I'm really excited about my video today. I don't know if anybody, if you watched the video that I last posted, it was about, um, um, I think it's called H2 Ops. I don't know. Um, it's um, hops flavored sparkling water. And so it's a lot like a La Croix um, or, um, um, you know, sparkling water that, but this one contained hops. And so it, it tasted um, very delicately like hops and it was actually a pretty tasty beverage, but no sugar, no alcohol, um, you know, and you know, for being what is essentially water seemed a little bit pricey. I think the price per six pack was, and I forget now, certainly more than $5, possibly six or seven dollars right and it came in a four pack it wasn't even a six pack so it came in a four pack and i thought that's pretty expensive um for this product um and then subsequently um rod j i'm pretty sure had posted a link to um an article about the lagunitas offering which is a thc and hops actually a cannabis and hops in infused sparkling water um and i thought that's really great um, I enjoyed this other one so much. It's a really great alternative to alcohol if you want to taste beer but don't want the alcohol content or trying to cut down on sugar consumption, etc., etc. Um, and I happened to come across it today, and I'm so excited. So it comes in two varieties. Woo! Um, so this is um, Lagunitas. I'm going to pick up this thing I just dropped. Lagunitas um, Hi-Fi Hops is um, what this is called. So it comes in two types. The 10 milligram, which is 10 milligrams of THC. THC is the is the part of cannabis that gives you that high feeling. And then the other one is a five five milligram to five milligram, so one to one ratio. Um, five milligrams THC, five milligrams of CBD. So CBD is used um, uh, as an anti-inflammatory. It's used as a, as an anti-epileptic. Um, and it can help with pain, although THC is better for that, or at least a combination of CBD, THC. Um, so when I came across this, I thought, perfect, this is exactly what I want to try because I am currently unable to drink alcohol. Um, and I live in California where um, cannabis is recreationally legal. <sighs> the times we live in, huh? Um, so I snapped up this opportunity. So um, the Lagunitas Hi-Fi Hops uh, is an IPA-inspired sparkling beverage um, made using everything Lagunitas knows about hops, but with the with zero alcohol, zero calories, and zero carbs. It's infused with THC from the finest sun-grown absolute extracts cannabis, and it's good to have friends. Um, and you can find out more. Of course, they give us a website, abx.org slash hi-fi dash hops, um, if you want to find out information about it. And I'll put the link down below in the description. Um, cause I did read up on their site and it has some facts and some things and where to find it, etc. Although I think it's only available in California currently. I think that's true. Um, I read it while I was online. I don't know. Um, so, um, pretty excited about this, you guys. Um, today I'm going to try, um, not the 10 milligram one. Um, I'm going to try the five milligrams THC, five milligrams, um, CBD. Um, mix. So one of the things I wanted to add, and I didn't even get a glass or anything, so I'm going to, we're going to look over here because I'm going to take a walk. One of the things that I, I thought was interesting I wanted to make sure to share with you is the fact that um, uh, um, extracts are often made using solvents. One which is very flammable. A lot of times people blow themselves up, blow up their houses in the process of that. Um, and they use... Um, and then the problem with using solvents to do extracts is that you end up with byproduct in the consumable product that you're that you're selling to people. Um, and so people who are very sensitive to solvents um, oftentimes try to avoid solvent-based extracts. Um, and it's just it's really not very good for you. So um, I was when I was standing alone, I was like I was already committed. I'm going to buy this anyway. But I was like shooty shoot me shoot you guys. Is this one of the companies that does solvent-based extracts? And it turns out that they do not. So three cheers to um, ABX, um, the app, um, this company, Absolute Extracts. Um, so they use a CO2 extraction process um, uh, in order to get the to to build the um, the extract that they're that they're using for these products and on all of their products. It turns out. So if you're worried about solvents, which you should be, you don't have to worry about it in this particular product. Um, 
So let's take a look at this. Oh, also, I did a little bit of a price comparison. These are currently $8 a bottle at Harborside in Oakland. Um, and the, I, I'm pretty sure that's probably available it's through some other places. Um, and I don't necessarily know um, the pricing differences between all the places that are, that are in the Bay Area, but I did compare it with some of the prices on the Harborside website um, for similar products. Um, there is a company called California Dreaming that makes uh, cannabis-infused sparkling juices. So it comes in apple, grapefruit, pomegranate, tangerine, um, and those look like they have 10 milligrams in a bottle, and those are $6 each. Um, they sell um, an 8 milligram single dose of... Um, of tea, um, and that is seven dollars. Um, there's another one that is also a, it's like the same brand but a different kind of tea that has a 10 milligram dose, and that one's six dollars. Um, and then there is a company called Mood that makes something called Sparkling Tonic, comes in a different a couple of different uh, varieties, including Calm, Joy, Passion probably has different blends of, of um, high, you know, um, indica versus sativa, etc. cetera. Um, and as a matter of fact, this one, one of them is CBD, one, and then the other two are a hybrid, so it probably contains some THC, but those are $8 each. Um, so the price seems to be six, seven, eight dollars where this one is on the higher end of, um, of the offerings that I see on their website right now. Um, but I know, you know, that Lagunitas is a great product, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so let's take a look. Also, I forgot the freaking bottle over there. Okay, so for real now, let's take a look. So uh, like I said, I'm going to do the the one-to-one -one combo THC CBD. Um, mm, it smells a lot like the Hops 2O uh, or H2 Ops, whatever that is that I did, the sparkling water. So um, i got to hurry up because I'm also expecting a phone call in about 15 minutes. So let's get through this. Um, so, whew, smell wise, kind of funky, like maybe like IPA, but also just like a little funky, weird. I think it's okay though, for the sake of looking. Best Buy 61819. So, this actually, you know, also because of what the and I don't know what the laws are in other states, so um, I'm just going to say California because I know those. But um, we have some packaging laws um, that have come up. And so it has to very clearly say on the package the contents, um, how many milligrams of each, uh, both THC and CBD. And then sometimes it'll get into CBDA, et cetera, um, um, that a product contains. And so on here you can see it says... Um, total THC, 5.04 milligrams. Total CBD, 4.83 milligrams per milliliter for each of those. Um, and uh, it has the tested by label, so it's tested by um, this lab because one of the other things that's been a problem with cannabis is that um, it has mold in it or people are using... Um, God knows what as a pesticide. And um, so part of the recreational use law that happened in California was packaging and labeling um, and then um, reducing the um, o the total amount of content any one product can have. Um, but then also this testing requirement to make sure that you're not, con you're not, um, you know, it's a food product at this point, it's consumable. And um, so they're making sure that people aren't eating a bunch of gross crap because um, I've met some growers who use some gross crap on their plants. But let's not talk about that. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. It smells funky, but it's probably fine. Um, color wise, oh my goodness, it is not pretty. Keep it in the bottle. It looks like lemonade. Um, not pretty. It's not pretty. It was kind of sparkling, but I did dump it. I think it's probably better not to dump it into these glasses, um, but I wanted to see what it looked like and give you a chance to look at it. So it's a really weird dishwater color, a little unappealing, but let's see how the flavor is. Actually, I can see it's a little sparkly still. 
The funky smell is weird. It's definitely tropical though. And I can smell passion fruit in here. God, it just makes me want a beer so bad. Okay, cheers. Oh, okay. You know, okay, so a couple of thoughts. I'm drinking this. It tastes like peaches. Um, it tastes like passion fruit. So all the hops flavors that I'm expecting are definitely coming through. And I was thinking, why does it smell funky and taste funky? I liked the, the H2 ops sparkling water better. And that's because it didn't contain cannabis. And so we get this extra funk that happens um, with the addition of cannabis. And ultimately that's okay because you're getting more than just flavor out of this product. Um, Maybe you can't put your crispy stick on my computer. Birds make so many crumbs, you guys. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, anyway, it tastes a lot like um, iced tea. Um, and so kind of peachy, a little tropical, slightly tanniny. I don't necessarily taste cannabis in this. And in that respect, it's a really good combination with hops because they're very similar smell um, profiles. And so they don't fight with each other. As a matter of fact, you can graft cannabis onto a hops plant, um, which is pretty cool. And then grow like a vining cannabis plant. Um, that would be neat, right? I mean, life goals. Um, so drinkability wise, it's drinkable. It's pretty good. I think I like the flavor of the, the just hops sparkling water more. Um, but like I said, I'm not drinking this only for the flavor content. And so also I'll have to report back in an hour or whatever, how did this feel? So one of the things that were on the, the FAQs on the um, ABX website was that um, ingestion usually means that um, it kicks in faster, um, but then it also processes through your system faster. And so you'll get, you'll feel the high effect faster or the benefit, however you want to word it, faster, but then it comes out of your system faster. Um, so that's worth mentioning. Um, and, um, you know, I don't, I am not a doctor, <laughs> you know, like here I am with my, with the fine print of this. I am not a doctor, um, you know, and you should always consult your doctor before taking things like this that have psychoactive um, effects. Um, and also start with less than a full dose. Um, there are a lot of people who are like, oh, one cookie equals a dose, but it's, you know, it's a lot of of THC and it hits your system all at the same time. And um, um, and then they're too high and it's not any fun. So it's better to start with like a quarter of a dose, you know, wait an hour and see how that hits you um, to be conservative and then add, because you can always add more, but you can't subtract it. And, and it just has to get out of your system. And then you, in the meanwhile, you feel icky. So be sensitive about dosing. Um, and this really comes in two varieties, you know, if you're getting the high effect, actually, since they both contain THC, you're going to have a little bit of high effect, high effect any, anyway, but, um, the five milligram dose and the 10 milligram dose. Um, and so start low, um, and then go from there. Putting, um, having CBD content isn't going to hurt you if you don't need the benefits of it. Um, and it does actually a lot of things for our body. Um, anyway, um, and um, we can all stand for some, to have some anti-inflammatory properties in our life, I think I can say as a blanket statement. Um, but um, these are really, really cool products. I love that it's made by, uh, in collaboration with Lagunita. So now you know you're getting high quality, non-solvent based cannabis extract. And it's being brewed, brewed by a beer company who really has a high standard for hops, right? Because Lagunitas is a stand, is an amazing beer company, um, and so that's a really great collab. I'm so excited about that. Um, and what I think is a probably a reasonable price point, um, especially for a one-off purchase. If I were going to buy this to 
to use on a daily basis, eight dollars a pop um, is um, is too much, you know. So um, then the question will be, can you buy it in bulk, um, and is that cheaper? Um, and um, you know, where else is it going to be available? Is the price high because it's a new release to the market, and and the price will come down in a little while? You know, is it high because it's Harborside and their prices are high? I don't know. Um, so these are all things that I'm excited to kind of find out um, as um, um, as I hear maybe from more people about this. Um, so that's that. That's those are my thoughts on it. Um, would you try it if you could get it in your state? I want to know. Have you tried it if you're in California? Um, and um, what did you think about it? You know, did you look at it outside of the bottle? Like, I'm looking at this bottle that's still closed, and I can tell, like, now after the fact that it's going to be cloudy and white. Um, you know, but I, I wasn't quite expecting that, and so it was very dishwatery, and it was a little off-putting, but I drank it anyway, and it's fine. Um, what did you think about that? So share with me all of these thoughts if this is something that you've had before. I've re I'm really interested. Stop chewing on the computer. I'm really interested in hearing that. Um, so there you go. Um, that's Lagunita's Hi-Fi Hops um, collaboration with Absolute Extracts um, for THC and, TV and CBD content. Um, so what do you think, guys? All right, I will update you, not by video, um, but I will um, I will post this video and let it upload, and then um, I'll edit my description before I um, make it live or whatever that is, like publish it. Um, so that way you can, um, I can include like how I feel in 30 minutes or an hour. Um, but um, so here's the clock counting, right? It's 427 now. You guys, I totally made a video about Lagunitas Hi-Fi Hops at 420. I feel like I'm winning at life. Um, anyway, so um, uh, that's that. I'm going to stop talking. Thanks for watching. Um, share with me if this is something that you've had or if it's something that you're excited about or if you've had a similar product. I would really love to hear about it. Um, so cool. Thanks. Have a good night. Erwin. Grumpy bird. Okay, bye.